prosecutor from uh, Cass County, I'm sorry, and she is running for the 4th Congressional District, which is my district, and so I'm happy to have her running uh, in this race. And so let me introduce to you Teresa Hensley. Good afternoon. This is a fantastic day, and what a wonderful crowd. I really appreciate being invited to this today. Um, I am the prosecutor in Cass County. It's somewhere where I, I have been the prosecutor for eight years. And like Senator McCaskill said, as a prosecutor, we deal very intimately with those victims of domestic violence. And they are real, and they exist. In the prosecutor's office, I had made a point of uh, making domestic violence a priority. In our office, we pull those up as 24 hours. They are handled immediately. There are 15 agencies in my county, and so there is barely a day or a week that we don't get a new domestic violence case. They exist, and they're real in our communities. They are not something we can ignore. In the prosecutor's office, I was fortunate to also be a part of our Hope Haven, a part of our abuse shelter. Uh, I was on the board for two terms before I had to go off before they can put me back on soon. But as part of the Hope Haven, we also have a domestic violence coalition. In fact, have you spoke yet, Ms. Patty? Did you tell them that you were the president at one point of Hope Haven? We have one of, one of the ladies who's always, already spoke was the president of our Hope Haven. It's very much a part of Cass County. We have a domestic violence coalition that meets once a month, and we take it very seriously in Cass County. We make the male law enforcement week with us once a month to remind them what goes on with respect to domestic violence. In 2010, I think thanks to your nomination, I was awarded by the uh, Missouri Attorney General, Chris Coster, I was awarded the 2010 Missouri Attorney General's Domestic Violence Prevention Award, and it's something that I'm really proud of. Um, thank you. Because I, I want to talk about today, I'm going to bring you down for just a minute and then we'll, we'll get back up because it is real. And it's things, the reason you're here is for those very real stories that happen in our communities. We had a young woman who was held hostage by her boyfriend for several days. He beat her with his fist so badly that she told me when he put his cigarette out on her cheek, she didn't remember feeling it. He beat her with a green metal baseball bat. He beat her on his le her legs and her arms. And when he finally got her to the hospital, because he was afraid she was going to die, and he didn't want that on his conscience, her family couldn't recognize her. She was beat so badly. Those are real stories. They're real people. They're real circumstances in our communities. And yet, we watched while the House Republicans and Vicki Hartzler voted to not even consider renewing the 1994 Victim uh, Violence Against Women Act. And you know now that we've made it an issue all over the country, once we stood up as women and said, really, you're not going to renew a 1994 Violence Against Women Act that when it was passed had more than 40 Republicans who also signed on to it. It was a bipartisan plan. What's not to agree with that? In 2000 and 2005, George W. Bush signed it back into law. It was a nonpartisan plan until this year, until this House Republicans and this Vicki Hartzler have an attack on women. But again, this week, all of a sudden, some of those House Republican women have stood up and said, you know what? We do support this. The reason we didn't before was, well, the Democrats made it political. <laughs> That's their statement. But you know, when they voted not to reconsider it several weeks ago, what they said was, well, it's just the Democrats and those feminists wanting to fill their coffers again so that they can fight divorce and fight marriage and hate men. That's what they said when they voted against it. But now, of course, now that we've all stood up and said, that's not right, this last week they've decided they're gonna support it. They're back supporting the 1994 Violence Against Women Act. But I want you to watch it closely, because what you're going to see is them continue to say, well, we don't want that provision you have that talks about immigrants. And we don't want that provision you have that talks about Indian reservations and the women that are on it, because that puts us in a box. And so pay attention to what they're doing, because again, every little thing they can take away from women, we know they do. 
And so I am really excited as a prosecutor of Cass County to get to be running as the Democrat nominee for U.S. Congress in the 4th District. It's something I'm very excited about, and I believe we can win. And it's going to take a lot of hard work. It's already taken a lot of hard work, but it's hard work that we know is necessary. And so I intend to work really hard to win this campaign. I hope you'll join me. I hope you'll tell every woman you know what the stakes are. You know, it's, it's good to get out, and it's good to march, and it's good for us to get together because it's nice to be around people who think right. But we've got to talk to those people who aren't thinking right. We've got to remind every man and woman, every age, why these things matter. Because women's rights affect children. They affect men. They affect the poor. They affect our seniors. Our rights are also their rights. And so I thank you so much for having me here today. This is a beautiful day, and I'm very happy to be a part of it. Thank you.